Josiah Davis from Valley Christian High School in Highlands Ranch was the Buffalo's first verbal commitment for the class of 2019. And this is actually the third straight recruiting cycle. CU's gotten their first pledge from an in-state recruit. Kind of a, a changing of things that we saw during their doldrums was it was it was so hard for them to get those in-state recruits. Mike McIntyre actually offered Josiah Davis back before his sophomore season saw him at a seven-on-seven -seven tournament and really liked his versatility. Well, and the interesting thing about that story is he was playing wide receiver at that seven-on-seven -seven yeah. tournament, so he's a kid that can do a lot. And what really stood out to me on the film is what a weapon he is in the passing game for Valor. I mean, he is real, he's, he's got fantastic hands. What Josiah says is when uh, what he considers to be his, his best attribute, he's self-described as a mismatch type player right. at uh, anywhere around, I think, about 5'11", 6 foot, 195. So uh, you've kind of seen this trend in college football, guys that don't have to come off the field because they can do both. Right. Well, we've got that. You know, we've got that in Jarek Broussard and some other guys. Katie Nixon. Katie Nixon is, a, is, a, is a, a, an excellent guy for that position. So you can take a... Josiah Davis and use them in a lot of different ways. So, again, you don't have to give away to the defense what it is you're trying to do. The other thing that stands out to me, he's a very patient player. He, he We see a lot of running backs that just run into the back of their blockers, and this guy makes his blockers look good because he's very patient and he has fantastic vision. So he looks out there and he sees things and he waits and he's moving. There's uh, one play in particular that stood out to me where – uh, they're, they're, I think they're on a seven-yard line, and he takes the ball, and there is nothing. There is nothing there, and he's just patient, 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 and then he finds a little seam, and he sneaks through, and he carries four guys into the end zone for a touchdown, like that uh, uh, play a couple years ago with Lindsey. 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 Your average running back is, is just really going to run into that and dive forward for a yard. And he found a way to get in the end zone. He uh, did have an offer from CSU as well. A lot of Power 5 schools sniffing around. Probably would have been the type of guy that really would blow up during the spring evaluation period. 3,270 all-purpose yards at Valor, and he's yet to play his senior season. Any specific plays, William, that, that really jumped out to you aside from that, uh, that, that short yard situation? Well, the very first play on the video shows you really everything you need to see from a running back. Patience, vision, he's hard to bring down. I mean, this guy does not ever go down with the first tackler, and you're not going to get him with a shoestring tackle, so that very first play on the reel. And a lot of the, the interesting thing is a lot of the really good plays on that highlight reel are against Pomona, who's the state champion, so that's the highest level there is in Colorado. Again, the 139 mark is, a, is another play where this kid just cannot be taken down by the first tackler, and there's several times in this film where there's two or three guys, and he's just dragging them for an extra yard. Um, at the 159 mark, he shows um, that he doesn't give up on a play if it's blown up early. He's got a little wiggle in there. He can make guys miss a little bit. Um, and then there's one play at the 210 mark, which I, on my notes I wrote down in ca all caps, ridiculous. He's got absolutely, and that's the one I think I already told you about. He's got absolutely nowhere to go, and yet he finds a way to sneak through a little seam there and carries four guys into the, into the end zone. So you look at those plays like that. He's got breakaway plays. Um, there's a two play at the 247 mark where, again, I wrote down the word wow. You know, that this kid's an animal. Five guys can't tackle him. He just continues to drag him forward. So he's not the biggest kid uh, ever at running back, but nobody can bring him down. He's not easy to bring down, both because he's slippery, but also because he always has got his legs churning and moving forward. And, again, there are a lot of plays on this highlight reel where you see him make really good catches, like one-handed one catches and catches that are not easy to make, and he's just such a weapon in the passing game as well. Jose Josiah Davis, along with Ty Evans, will now turn into recruiters for the Buffaloes. We've seen this. Another trend with, with recruiting nowadays is these group techs are a big deal right. in recruiting, and sometimes you need your top early commits to really become some of your best recruiters. And Josiah Davis as well. He's going to be an early enrollee at, at CU, so he's going to be up on campus a year from now. Well, and I think you know, you know Ty Evans has already said he wants to do that. And here's a guy that was committed to Arkansas, so I think he has some credibility with other kids that he's not just a homer. He's been out there and been to some of the other schools and, and made trips. And uh, I think Josiah Davis made a trip to Nebraska, so he's been out there and seen mm -hmm. other things and, and made his choice to stay home. And I think both of these kids are going to be the future of our offense. All right, that's our Buff Stampede film room breakdown of Josiah Davis.